I have been working on developing cell encapsulation device, where instead of delivering insulin through injections, we were proposing of delivering pancreatic cells, which can sense the blood glucose level and secrete insulin autonomously, and these cells were encapsulated in a cell encapsulation device. You know, the conventional treatment for type 1 diabetes is through insulin injections, which is very tedious and requires constant attention and strict compliance. However, this insulin, insul however, this insulin treatment does not cure the disease or prevent many devastating effects, such as blindness, neuropathy, heart disease, and stroke. By using cell therapy, the patient only needs to receive one-time transplantation, and their blood glucose level will be self-regulated. Diabetes is, a, is an autoimmune disease, and the cell, whatever cells we are going to transplant it into the patients, has to be protected by an immunoisolation device. Otherwise, the cells will be destroyed by the patient's immune system. First of all, uh, we want to have a functional device which can provide enough nutrients for the encapsulated cell, so the cells are happy inside the patient's body and they can secrete insulin autonomously based on the patient's glucose level. And also, it is also very important for the device to be mechanically durable so that the surgeon can easily implant and retrieve the device through a minimal invasive laparoscopic procedure. Because the cells we encapsulated were mature pancreatic cells, and they cannot survive forever as the as, uh, as same as the native pancreatic cells. So once in a while, we have to replace the cell and retrieve the device. The first thing we do is to use this clinical grade nylon suture. We took these sutures out. and twist these sutures using a motor. The suture will be twisted to form a double helix and it will also generate some torque. And to prevent the torque to release the suture, we twist this suture together again to make a four strand twisted together. And then we make a knot in the end. This will form a stable four string twisted thread. The next thing we do is to put the thread onto a holder. The thread will anchor it onto this holder. And then we use the... This, this is a polymer solution where, which we use to modify the thread. So we put the solution in a trough and just do deep coating of the twisted thread and let it dry. After the, after the polymer solution is dried, we are going to dip this thread into another solution called alginate solution. Okay. We'll dip it into a solution of alginate and it will cross-link a uniform layer of alginate hydrogel around the thread. I think we should show this final product. Once the cell encapsulation device is prepared, uh, I gave it to uh, our collaborators and they helped us transplant this device into the animals. After a while, we can either retrieve or replace the device through a minimal invasive laparoscopic procedure. Our team is working very hard on pushing this project forward, and we hope one day it will be used in human patients.